guys, it's Kinder Tofu again. I'm here to do my what I eat in a day video. So it's uh, morning time and it's breakfast. This is uh, some mango and a chopped up green pear. And I'm going to have some coconut water. So that is pretty much my breakfast. I have to go run a couple errands today. I have to return a couple of things to the post office because I bought some stuff online and of course things never go the right way which I'll probably talk about a little bit further later um, I have to um, also study and do some homework because I'm actually studying for my NASM right now so that's keeping me busy and I'm a little behind in homework because I slacked off a little bit uh, last week so I have to get that done and um, I'll be back later for lunch time to show you guys what I'm going to eat for lunch. I mean, every day is not the same with me, but this is like a typical day. I usually have some high carbohydrate uh, for breakfast, like like a fruit, uh, a shake, of, of like a protein shake with fruit in it. Or um, I'll have some oatmeal with uh powder peanut butter in it because I do try to stay really low fat. Um, I do eat fats. Um, I try to get all my good non um, hydrogenated oils and stuff like that. I don't cook with oil or um, any fats like that. Um, I usually just add in my fats later um, and calculate. I uh, use my fitness pal and I add it as I go to make sure that I don't go over. I'm usually eating uh, around 20 six to thirty grams of fat a day I mean it kind of fluctuates between those three grams here and there but I still try to stay within my calorie range right now I'm doing a calorie deficit because I'm cutting down um, in order to start my bulk in January so I still have a couple more months before I can uh, stop upping my calories again um, but right now this is what I do for breakfast I usually pretty light um, I eat my heaviest protein meal for lunch, usually post-workout because I usually work out between breakfast and lunch. And then sometimes I do end up working between working out between lunch and dinner. So I'll have a lighter uh, lunch if I haven't gone to the gym yet, but I still have like most of my protein, half of it in lunch and half of it in dinner. So. I'll end up doing that. I have I won't have as much carbs uh, or not as much carbs. I mean, I will have most of my carbs on lunch if I didn't uh, eat uh, if I didn't go to the gym before. So then, by the time I get to the to dinner, I usually like to eat pretty light. So I'll keep it simple to like a salad or like some steamed veggies with uh, either a meat substitute or. Uh, yeah, pretty much a meat substitute or if I already ate most of my protein for the day, if I had a protein shake for breakfast and I had a ton of protein substitute, like a, I like to do guardian carn bowls a lot or, um, for lunch and if I already went up to like most of my, like I already took most of my protein in, I probably won't do really that much for, for dinner. I'll probably just have steamed veggies and maybe less of the... Uh, of the protein um like maybe have some like i don't know if i still have carbs left which i usually do because i am high carb so i'll have like some chickpeas and a salad or make my own like like hummus but with no oil so basically i just put the um the chickpeas in a uh blender and just well actually a food processor i should say and i just add some like fresh herbs and garlic and salt and just blend it up and then i'll just have like a you know a lettuce wrap or uh, a lettuce taco or or just or I'll have one of my rice uh, paper wraps and I'll put it all in there with some uh, spinach and I love using a lot of um, sprouts so I do eat like alfalfa sprouts or radish sprouts or broccoli sprouts so I'll add that in um, usually <laughs> to make it look pretty but I also eat it so and I usually uh, add a lot of nutritional yeast so I use it in like my seasoning while I'm cooking sometimes and sometimes I'll just add it in at the end right before I'm about to eat and I love spicy so I usually add some sriracha 
condiment. I mean, it doesn't have any fat. It's really low calorie, so I'll just add a few drops. I'll drizzle a little bit on it, and I'll have that. Um, but later, I'm planning on having um, some Beyond Meat burger and uh, like a veggie thing mix, uh, like steamed, cooked um, veggies. So um, that's what I have usually for breakfast, and I'll be back with you guys later after I get a couple things done, and um, I'll be right back. back with lunch, and this is a lunch right here, and you guys can see it. It's um, two rice paper rolls with uh, textured vegetable protein. And um, I got for sauce, I've got this uh, vegan barbecue sauce sweetened with agave. Um, and I added some sriracha in there. Um, I don't know if you can see it. So that uh, it's spicy and sweet because it's what I like. And yeah, and I'm still drinking my coconut water. I haven't finished it yet because I've been running around. So that was lunch. And um, I'm gonna, it's time to dig in, and I'll be back with you guys a little bit later for dinner. And in the making right here, I've got brown rice, asparagus, and um, veggie broth with nooch, garlic powder, and salt. Um, yeah, that's why it looks so creamy because of the nooch. Just one tablespoon of nooch in there. Um, and then I'm gonna actually also have some broccoli with nooch, garlic powder, and salt. And I'm just gonna add that in. So, just gonna stir it all up. And, yeah, it's a lot of greens, I know. But I love greens. Okay, so this is like my greens and my carbs right here. And right after that, I'm actually going to cook a Beyond Meat burger. Um, the beast. I'm going to actually make a Beyond the Beyond burger. I'm only going to have one, and with all this, so uh, let me cook that up, and I'll be back. This is the finished product. I like to make my food look so cute, like in a restaurant, like I'm eating somewhere fancy, even though I'm eating at home. I, I don't know. I think it makes food so much more fun. Well, for garnish, I put some alfalfa sprouts on the sides and that is uh this barbecue vegan sauce mixed with sriracha to make it spicy and then i um poured it over so i'll just drink this whole thing before i go to bed and um yeah i've already got my my face washed my teeth my brush my teeth so i'm ready for bed guys um, it's been a long day. I had to do a lot of errands today. Um, I promised you guys that I was going to tell you about it earlier. So I had bought a Wonder Woman costume on Amazon and it didn't actually fit me. And what I mean by it didn't fit me was that it was like tight only in the top part, like on my boob area. And then everything else was super loose, so I was like swimming in it. I it pretty much looked like a cone. Like I don't know why it was so small on the top. I mean, I guess small on the top and like so big on the the bottom. So it was just like a really like it looked like I was wearing a paper bag basically. Um, so it was terrible fitting and terrible material, and it was just terrible and. The costume was like 40 something dollars. So I was like, no way. I'm not just going to keep this and throw away $40. So I had to go to the post office and return that. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. 
and let me know in the comments down below if you have any suggestions for future videos or any constructive criticism on this video. Um, just bear with me guys, I'm brand new to vlogging and I'm not very good at video editing so if you have any tips on that I welcome that as well. Uh, have a good day or night whatever time you're watching this video and until next time see you guys later.